Hi everyone, I'm Abel, Product Specialist at Zeiss and in this tutorial we're going to run through adding equipment to your project. You'll need at least one camera and one lens for the system to work. So let's add our first bit of equipment. Once you add the camera, you can add a nickname. This is up to you what you call your camera, but it's just a reference point. When adding the camera, you can select from our database, which has some pre-selected brands already in there, or you can manually add one yourself. Once you've added your camera brand, you then need to add the camera model. Using our database, we already have some pre-selected models. However, if you want to input your own model, you can do that manually. Once you've added this information, you then need to select the camera recording format. Again, within our database, we have many pre-selected formats for you to choose from. But if you have a specific camera you're using, you can add it manually. If you're adding your recording format and active sensor size manually, it's important that this information is correct. Otherwise, your lens calibration will be badly affected. On the right hand side, we have our monitor output. This should be a live feed directly from the camera back to our origin. You're also able to crop the monitor framing to change it to your preferences. But once you're happy, you select add camera and it should bring you back to your equipment page. Next, we can add our lens. First, from the drop-down menu, we just select our lens manufacturer. Once happy, you can select the series and the model of that lens. Just as a note, if you're selecting a Zeiss lens, you'll need to select a scale code. Once happy, select add lens and you'll be brought back to the equipment page. Our equipment is now set up in Syncraft Scenario. Thank you for watching the tutorial and we'll see you in the next one.